On that point yeah. of wherever you come from, back to Eastern Europe, wherever you come from, yeah. to tell 7 million people to go back where they come from, many people would view that as racist, and in the case of Israelis, to yeah. be anti-Semitic, something you've been accused of being. Now, okay. do you understand why they would take it that way? Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we are going to be checking out a video titled, I am not anti-Semitic. Roger Waters vs. Piers Morgan on Israel-Palestine. Wow. I believe this is going to be an interesting one. Let's check it out. Go. All right. I, I hope. In other words, there are two ways of looking at all these things, and we're going to explore them, right? Mm. The... There's no two ways of looking at the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. You either believe in it or you don't, and you cannot cherry pick it. And what you said earlier well, I wasn't about, talking about excuse human... me, yeah. don't interrupt. What you said earlier was that Palestinians, all Palestinians, mm. should have exactly the same yes. human, religious, civil, legal rights as all Israeli yes. Jews. I agree with that. And when that is one unified democratic state that they live in together, with equal human rights for mm. all the citizens of that country, from yeah. the River Jordan to the sea, that will be a starting point from mm. which they can all move on, and I hope they do. But it's not for me to say what, what happened. It's for me to say what I feel about that. Oh, my God, I want to be there standing in that square when the, that state is declared that I want to be there on that day to embrace all my brothers and sisters, whether they're Muslim, Druze, agnostic, Christian or Jewish, mm. and whether their nationality was Palestinian or Lebanese or whatever, or Israeli. I want to see them free of the burden of this constant war. So, but you talk about a state there, not yeah. a two-state. The two-state solution, everybody you know, with an IQ above room temperature, agrees is a non-starter because of Eretz, Israel, and what's happened and all the building in the, in the West Bank and, and what's happening in Gaza now, of course, as well. Well, let me play you a clip. This is from uh, a month ago. <laughs> this was on your YouTube it's channel. It's not George Galloway, is it? No, no, it's from your own YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, it's called Resist the Genocide, and you said this. And this is all over. Israel is going to have to apologize, not just to the Palestinians, but to the whole of the rest of the world. So we're very sorry. We got it all completely wrong. And we are now leaving. Okay. We'll go back to Eastern Europe or the United States or wherever we came from and leave these people, the Palestinian people, the people whose land this is, to, if they can, rebuild and live in peace. Well, hang on, you didn't play the rest of it. Okay. But it said, of course, you're, the, any of you who want to stay will be welcome to stay as citizens of this new state. Mm. But the state, to be clear, would be Palestine. Well, I, I, my personal opinion is that that would be what it should be called. It was right. called Palestine up to 1948. And it could but hang on a minute, that's an open discussion. Well, I haven't asked I question, heard, yeah. excuse me, stop <laughs> interrupting me. I heard somebody suggest the other day it could be called the Holy Land. I actually made that suggestion some time mm. ago. And I've, I've been persuaded away from that um, idea by conversations I've had with other people. No, it's Palestine. Let's call it Palestine. But that's, that's not my business. That's for all the people who live there to decide. Yeah, but you say it's not your business, Roger, but with respect, when you say that all the Israelis should just up seven million of them... Well, hang on. ..should that's... just get up and go... All right, let me, have my, let me have my say. You've just shown that out of context without showing the second half of it. Fine. All right. I look miserable. I was. I'm in Barbados. I'm talking to my to my phone. When you said that Eric said that he sees me waking up in tears, uh, I do. I am prepared to admit mm. that I am in tears over Gaza every morning mm. when I wake up because I, I'm only 80 years old. I have never experienced the genocide of whole people in front of my eyes happening 
every day, every day. The calumny. Well, you have. The sl- well, with respect, you have. You were born in World War II when there was an actual genocide of Jewish people by the Nazis. I was that big. What? I, I was that big. I didn't witness yeah, You were alive, that. is my point. Well, but that's, I wasn't talking about being alive. I'm saying I never witnessed it. You can't witness something. Yeah, but six when million you, Jews were you killed. You cannot by the witness Nazis. something. Well, I'm not saying they weren't. Right. And, and was that was that a disgusting, awful crime? Mm. Yeah, it was. Just like this one is a disgusting, awful. But crime. my question for There's you, there's no difference. But Roger, my question for you is this: yeah. When you say that yeah. you need to have the whole world saying we're very sorry, we got it wrong, yeah. we're now leaving, go back to Eastern Europe or the United States or wherever you came from. Yes. Do you understand how Israelis feel when they hear that? Well, it depends which Israelis they are. And frankly, and frankly, the, well, the fact is that something has to be... Or would you suggest, no, let's just let them kill all the Palestinians. Why don't we just let no, them I believe kill there should them? be a two-state solution. Well, it's, it's not going to happen, but I don't want to argue with you about it. Well, nor is your plan. You're not going to have seven million Israelis well, some is being sent happen. back to Europe or the United States. I but tell you know what, why? Let because... me speak on behalf of we, the people of the world, because we, the people of the world, whatever the... But you whatever... don't speak for oh, the whole world, do you? God's sake. <laughs> well, come on, Roger, we have a civilised conversation. No, you can't have a civil con- civilised conversation with somebody who constantly interrupts. OK. Nor can you speak unfettered without me correcting some of the things you're saying or challenging you. You accept I, I, that? Yeah, I hadn't. I was about to say something, okay. and you, you're doing oh, it again. Oh, my apologies. I accept your apology. Thank you. Please don't do it again, Piers. Right. The, most of the people of the world do not want the Israelis to continue in their inexorable course to the end of their extermination of the indigenous people of Palestine. That's all I'm saying. So something has to happen that is not that. So if you say there are two possible alternatives, a two-state solution, mm. and that, that's that been on the table, let us not forget, certainly mm. since the end of the 67 mm. uh, a war. And let's not go back into the old stuff about, oh, well, the Palestinians turned it down. No, they don't. That is a barefaced lie. Well, Arafat did. No, he didn't. That is a barefaced lie. I'm not going to argue the toss with you. I know it is. If you don't know it is, you haven't yet done the real. Oh, I have, and I've actually interviewed people like Bill Clinton who were involved in it. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Dear God. Anyway, I won't go. You would down believe that. Arafat over Clinton? Of course. Really? Yeah. A- Arafat's dead, sadly. Mm. But you see, this is what this is what no, this is what I shouldn't get sucked into. Because the you're wrong, I'm right nature of this pro- programme is what's wrong with it. I know you think but that it's what's the right of the with program. it. It's, yes. it's you say something and I challenge you and maybe you change my mind, which, maybe, which, by the way, you might do. It's the you're wrong, I'm right, confrontational. It's the confrontation, which is what you get. It's you, your clicks. But why are you here? Confrontation. Though? Out of interest. I'll tell you why I'm here. Because we're having a general election in England yeah. at the moment. And I've come over here to help four or five people who are standing as independents mm. in different constituencies mm. in the United Kingdom. Because they, like me, believe in human rights. Keir Starmer doesn't and Rishi Sunak don't. They've shown it. And one of the ways they've shown it is in their support for the State of Israel and to continue to arm Israel, it's Mm. genocide of the Palestinian people. Now, those people include Andrew Feinstein. Mm. Andrew Feinstein is standing as an independent in the constituency of Hoban and St Pancras uh, against Keir Starmer, who is the possible incumbent prime minister of this country. So if we, Andrew Feinstein and his team mainly, but if I can help him, I will, get a majority of the people to vote for him, to Feinstein instead of Starmer, to forget the general politics of the United Kingdom for a moment and to accept that the most important thing that we're all fighting for at the moment is around Gaza and around the extermination of the people of Palestine, because what we're fighting for is the soul of the human race. Mm. We're fighting 
to try and achieve a future where we understand that things like right and wrong exist and we have to stand up for the Universal Declaration of Human Can Rights. I and, uh, excuse, no, not yet. Andrew Feinstein will and Keir Starmer won't. We know Keir Starmer's a bald man. I wouldn't believe him, you know, if... Well, we know Keir Starmer, we've known well, him. George Galloway last week told me he would trust Vladimir Putin over Keir Starmer. Would you? Did he? Well, obviously, you only have to listen to what the two men say. He would believe Putin over Starmer. Why not? But why would they be having a conversation about anything apart from let's make Ukraine into a NATO country, which is... Which... Well, we'll come to Ukraine. Can I just pick you up on one thing you said? We have to have a conversation. I haven't finished about but Andrew Feinstein. Okay. Excuse me. So, that, so that's deeply important. There are others. There are two young women who I interviewed a couple of days ago, and they're up. Double Down News, man. I saw Go it. Check it. All right. OK, one is called Fiona mm. Lali, and she's a young... Mm. Well, I think you've spoken to her. Maybe you have, maybe you have. And then there's Leanne Mohammed, who's standing in North Ilford, OK? And then there's my friend Craig Murray, who's standing up in... Mm. Um, how many holes are there? Blackburn, Lancashire. See, I went to the Beatles You're a Beatles fan, she's, you see? You have to, and whatever. And George, obviously, is in Rochdale, is he? Mm. So... I'm, I'm, if I can help swing any of those constituencies towards these people who believe in human rights, mm. away from somebody like Starmer or Wes Streetley, who don't believe in human rights, mm. they just don't, you, you have to look at their record and you say, yes, you must speak. <laughs> so I understand that, yeah. that you and many people share your view that they believe that Israel is perpetrating a genocide on Gaza. And you talk about the wanting to eliminate uh, the people of Gaza. But surely that clip that I played, when you talk about the Israelis having to go back to where they come from... That was, if they could apologise for what they're doing... Obviously... No, no, but, uh, Roger, let me, let me ask a question. OK. On that point yeah. of wherever you come from, back to Eastern Europe, wherever you come from, <laughs> yeah. to tell 7 million people to go back where they come from, many people would view that as racist, and in the case of Israelis, to yeah. be anti-Semitic, something you've been accused of being. Now, okay. do you understand why they would take it that way? Absolutely, of course I do. But we have to remember that most of the population of, of Israel have, are young, much younger than me, mm. even younger than you, if such a thing was possible. And they have been pretty well brainwashed into believing that they are superior to the other people who live there. And I have to say, the only the thing about um, Eastern Europe or Northeastern mm. Europe and the United States, they've tried to sell us this idea that somehow they are biblical people and that God has given them the land. That's what the Christian evangelicals believe. Well, well, look, All Israel... I'm saying is that they're not indigenous people, most of them. There are a few. Of, of the Jewish in, um, people who are citizens of Israel who are indigenous to the area. But, but back in the 19th century, that was only 7 or 8% of the Can population. Can I respond? Yes, of course. So ancient Egyptian records mention Israel from 1213 BC. Religious literature records Israelites as far back as 1500 BC. As far as many Jewish people are concerned, this is where they come from. Right. Within Judaism, Israel is the holy land. It's the land where the faith began. Jerusalem is the holy city. For Jews, Jerusalem is at the core of their faith and their world. Now, I think, I believe you're an atheist. Is that, is that correct? That is correct. So you may not understand or accept that, but that is how millions of people in Israel feel. They believe this is their original holy land. Now, I think that the displacement of the Palestinians back in 1948 was, was appalling. I also think the the simultaneous virtually displacement of many uh, Jewish people from their homes was also appalling. All of it was appalling. And you can create a narrative that would be supportive of both sides and critical of, of the other sides. But there's no doubting that Jewish people believe this is their holy land too, in the way that many Palestinians do. I haven't read that book, I admit. And I'm not sure I want to, because I've only got a few years... Well, how many years I've got left? You're, is you're doing better than the President of the United States, aren't you? I beg your pardon? You're doing a lot better than the President of the United States. Yes, I am. Your mental but acuity anyway, appears any, to be much anyway, sharper. Anyway, let, let me finish. 
all of what you're saying, though, maybe it will be fascinating to historians mm. and Jewish scholars and yeah. scholars of other religions, but it's completely irrelevant to the genocide that is going on now in the West Bank and Gaza. But it's not irrelevant to the to why Jewish people, when you say... Ah, so you should it's also... not irrelevant to why they think they have a right to commit genocide. No, I didn't say that. Don't oh, well, what, me. What, well, what is Don't all this me. stuff from me? No, I'm just going to say that, again, referring to the quote from your own mouth, when you say to 7 million people, go back to Eastern Europe or the United States or wherever you came from, many will believe, if not most of people in Israel will believe, that this is where they originally came from. What I say in that little video is, I think you made a terrible mistake and I think you should now say, we're sorry, it was a terrible mistake. Just look at what's happened. This is obviously a completely failed experiment. Zionism, the whole thing, is a failed experiment and we're going to leave you to live your lives in your country. Maybe a few of us will stay or maybe we'll all stay, but we all have to live together with equal rights from but the river. But this new state, to be to clear, would be... Hang on, hang on, hang okay. on. Let me finish. That's all. I.e., I'm going to keep dragging this conversation back to these two things. Universal Declaration of Human mm. Rights and the genocide that the state of okay. Israel is committing on the Palestinian people. And I don't care about what your history books from Egypt... I'm not saying you're wrong. I haven't read them. Mm. And, and, and frankly, I couldn't care less. But I thought you did care about reading and getting more knowledgeable. See, there you go. You're so clever. <laughs> well, I just remembered what you said. It's not that clever. It just says I've got a good memory. Do you know um, what? No, you're right, it wasn't that clever. OK. Look, let's go back to... No, let's stay on the genocide. It's either right, it's either all I'm right or it's that. not. And it doesn't matter what happened in the history of the Israelites. I'm, I'm coming to this. OK. Good. Let's go back to October the 7th, 2023, uh, when the Hamas attacks occurred. Uh, George Galloway was here last week. I and saw him. he described them as terror attacks. Do you agree with that? I'm not going to have this conversation. I've seen you ha have it with everybody, and you're and you're. It's a waste of time. Why? <sighs> because you always reach the same conclusions, and you always waste ten or twelve minutes. Let's well, waste one minute. I, all I ever ask people is, do you condemn what Hamas did? I condemn the uh, killing of civilians. Always, whoever does it, wherever it is, mm. I condemn war crimes. If Hamas committed war crimes on October the 7th, I condemn it. You referred earlier... You if, you, if. Excuse me. You referred earlier yeah. to my conversation with Glenn Greenwald, yes. which happened in December last year, and I was taken to task after that mm. because on his programme, and this was only a few weeks after October the 7th, I said, I would love to know what happened. Mm. on October the 7th, mm. so that we can all have a proper... Go well, the Israelis won't allow we any it investigation... Might be a, we suggested it might be a false flag operation. Well, we... we it, Implying it, that Israel created me. it. It, it, it. Hang on. Maybe false flag's not exactly the right word, but why did... Well, it's they, obviously not hang the right on. word. Can I finish? Yeah, but you're wrong. All right, never mind. Roger. It obviously wasn't a false flag. And the reason we know that is that Hamas broadcast in real time through video to social media what they were doing. There's nothing false flag Listen, about it. I'm not saying that part of the Palestinian resistance movement didn't cross that wire fence into what's called... Well, 2,000 of them Hang did. on. Oh, 2, 000, how many? It doesn't really matter how yeah. many it was. I'm not saying they didn't do that. I'm not saying that that didn't happen at all. What I'm saying is... There's all this talk about does Israel have a right to defend itself? Mm. Why didn't Israel defend itself that morning? Mm. Why did they wait seven hours before they started machine well, It was a catastrophic everyone? failure of, of defence and security. <laughs> and this is the most efficient security Yeah, it's catastrophic. That's why when this is over... Netanyahu all right, you don't it. want to have that conversation, neither do I, but wouldn't it be I just great... answered you what I think Hang happened. on. Wouldn't it be great to have that conversation at some... And wouldn't it be great if we could have an actual real investigation beyond the very good Al Jazeera documentary that we all saw that came out and all the great work that the Grey Zone and Electronic Intifada and people did in debunking all the filthy, disgusting 
disgusting lies that the Israelis told after October the 7th. Like what? About burning babies and women being raped, which were all completely... Actually, women were raped. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. Well, there's no evidence. It's been, well, it's been established by the you United Nations. You can say Nations. anything that you want, but there's no evidence. But actually, there is extensive evidence. There is no sexual evidence. sexual assault and oh. rape. Well, there is. OK, well, all right, now... Also, we know what Hamas Roger, broadcast Roger, on Roger, social media. calm down. Roger, Roger, mm. calm down. Don't sink to his level. All right, I won't. What level? Well, stop shouting. Stop shouting back. Let him interrupt you as much as he can. Okay. Uh, sorry, Piers, what were you saying? Look. Wow. What an interesting debate uh, between Piers and Rogers, Roger Waters on Israel Palestine conflict. I totally respect Piers a lot. I also respect our. Uh, Roger Waters a lot because he's someone that is very famous and with someone at his age, I totally give him all the respect he deserves. But sorry to say in this video, I think uh, Roger Waters is not uh, being intellectually honest to some extent because based on the point and the fact he gave uh, that he's, he wants uh, a two-state solution, and he believed Israel is committing genocide. He also made uh, another point that uh, the 7 million is Israeli, if they, they can apologize to uh, the Palestinian people, apologize to the world, and they can go back to where they are from, go back to America, and go back to Europe. I don't really get that. I don't understand what he's actually saying. Is it saying... Israel should uh should give up Gaza and go back to uh Israel should give up Gaza because if he's saying Israel should give up Gaza to uh the Palestinian people, I believe Israel have done that in 2005. So I don't really know what it means by saying Israel should go back to where they are from, they should go back to America or they should go back to Europe. So is PS just actually saying that. Uh, the land Israel is occupying right now as a country, is it saying Israel have no rights to be in that land? Is it saying uh, the land Israel are occupying right now, uh, the Israel country, is it saying uh, that land actually belongs to the Palestinian people? I don't get that. Is it saying Israel should give up their country and go back to where they are from? Where, where are they from? Are they from... Because he mentioned uh, if, they are, if they will go back to America or they will go back to Europe or they go back to wherever they are from. I don't really know where they are from. I would really love to hear that from Pierce. Uh, I would really hear, love to hear that from Roger Waters. Is he saying the land right now which Israel are occupying are, are no longer belong to Israel? Is he saying the land actually belongs to the Palestinian people? I don't really know what uh, Roger Water is saying in this video because I believe the conf the best way, I really condemn the killing of civilians. I condemn the killing of children. I also condemn what happened on October 7th. So is this, I understand the killing of children, the killing of uh, civilians is totally unacceptable. I totally condemn it. And, but... He, uh, Pierre, uh, Roger Waters also condemned uh, the killing of civilians and the killing of children. But the question Pierce was asking him, asking uh, Roger Waters, is the point that did he condemn what Hamas did in October 7th? And he wasn't able to give uh, a vivid answer, which he, he didn't believe that what happened October 7th actually happened. So I don't know how come he, he never believed that, because the incident was actually videoed by uh, Hamas and posted online showing what they are doing. So I find it difficult that he said uh, he, he, he doesn't believe what happened on October 7 because there was no there was no evidence of it. There was no evidence of it yet. Hamas posted a video of of them uh, invading uh, Israel. So I don't know what evidence is what other evidence is looking for for him to be able to believe. Uh, what happened in October 7 actually happened. And I we also say this, I condemn killing of children, killing of civilians, of any kind. 
I totally feel pain for those that have lost their life uh, in Israel. I also feel pain for those that have lost their life in Palestine. And I believe if it's possible for there to be a two-state solution whereby this conflict can be settled and Israel can get their peace, and uh, the Palestinian people can also get their peace because a lot of life have been lost through this conflict. And if the international communities can also come in to facilitate a two-state solution whereby this conflict can be resolved and they can all live in peace, I totally support that and I hope to see the day that there is going to be a two-state solution. But for PS, for uh, Roger Waters coming to say, uh, coming to say, if the Israel people are going to apologize to Palestine and apologize to the world, and they are going to go back to where they are from, if they are from America, if they are from uh, uh, the Europe, I don't really know about that because I believe the land Israel are actually occupying now. Uh, uh, belong to them according to what I know. So if there is any other proof that the land Israel are occupying right now no, uh, actually belong to the Palestinian people, should be called Palestine instead of Israel. If there is a proof, kindly leave it in the comment section because I also love to know. I also love to know based on the fact uh, Roger Waters has given that if Israel can go back to where they are from, if they are from America or they are from Europe or wherever they are from, I don't really know a thing about that. Kindly leave it in the comment section. Do you think Israel have the right to remain uh, in the country they are right now, to remain, to remain in the land they are right now? Or do you think where Israel is occupying right now, do you think it actually belongs to the Palestinian people? Kindly leave a comment. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day.